The number one reason that you're not getting the views that you want to on YouTube right now is simply because you're not uploading your videos the right way. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you're gonna know the exact way that you need to be uploading your content on YouTube right now to get as many views as humanly possible from YouTube Shorts. In fact, this creator just made the changes to their upload process that I'm about to share with you and gained over 100,000 subscribers in just 30 days. And this creator did the same thing, except they gained over 20,000 subscribers. More importantly, they were actually able to get monetized literally from a single post that they uploaded the right way as opposed to uploading all of their other content the wrong way. But I do want to warn you, if you skip just one part of this video, it could actually be the thing that's destroying your views. Step number one, you need to make sure that you actually begin the upload process from a mobile device. Way too many of you are uploading it from an iPad or uploading from a PC and it's destroying the amount of reach that you're getting. You need to upload from a mobile device because then you can actually choose the thumbnail that you're going to use. And if you don't understand how YouTube shorts work, essentially they show up in three places. One, browse features, which is basically the home page. Secondly, in search. And third, they show up on the shorts feed. Now for two of three of those, guess what? You need to have a good thumbnail for your content to stick out and for people to click on it. And if people click on it, you're gonna get more views. But for the shorts feed, this doesn't necessarily matter. But what a lot of you are mistakenly doing is ignoring browse features in search. And that actually accounts for a ton of different traffic on YouTube. So by doing that, you're literally cutting the views that you could have gotten by like seven for example, I recently uploaded this video right here and literally just my thumbnail is the reason that I got 100,000 views more than one of my competitors and 50,000 views more than the other competitor and this video continues to get thousands of views every single day and it's been like that for a few months now and I'm gonna guess that it's gonna continue to happen in the future because nobody's actually made a better video with a better title, a better thumbnail and a better piece of content and if you begin changing your strategy to think like this and upload your content the right way, the same thing could happen to your views because it's easier to get views on YouTube right now than it ever has been before. So to get started, here's what you have to do. All you have to do is click that plus sign in the middle of the YouTube app and from here, you wanna click create a short and then you'll be able to choose the file you wanna upload. Now remember, most viral shorts on YouTube are between 12 to 15 seconds, 24 to 30 seconds, and 55 to 60 seconds. So if you're not uploading shorts that are in that length, you're probably doing something wrong. And on top of that, this is gonna to be topic specific. So just because 12 12 second video on one topic worked doesn't mean you should make all your videos 12 seconds. Instead, you should actually be doing the research. You need to do the research for the topic you're about to post about and figure out the best length of that post because if you don't understand how this works, essentially, people that watch Minecraft videos watch 60 second Minecraft videos or 30 seconds or 12 seconds and guess what? Each one of those different lengths has a different audience size. So if you choose the wrong length for your content, you could drastically increase or decrease the amount of people that you're able to reach, and this could be having a huge impact on how many views you actually get. So once you've uploaded your video via a mobile device, now you need to put in your title. And for right now, this could just be a placeholder. And remember, you should never be uploading a title that has more than three hashtags. I mean, YouTube literally says in their terms of service that they wouldn't recommend uploading videos with more than three hashtags because it decreases the ability for them to use those hashtags to find the correct audience. And remember how YouTube actually works. When you upload a video to YouTube, especially if if you're a small channel, YouTube is going to seed your content with a specific audience. If they do not like that content, your content's not gonna get continued to push out. And one of the ways that you can affect which audience YouTube is actually seeding your content with is by choosing the right hashtags and by doing two other things I'm gonna share with you later on in this video, which are gonna make a huge difference if you're not reaching the right audience right now. So after putting in your placeholder title right there, what you're gonna wanna do now is click on that little edit icon that's gonna allow you to choose a thumbnail. Now remember, you can't choose a random photo for the thumbnail. It needs to be something that actually shows in the video. So when you're creating your video, you need to be creating a scene that you think is going to be a good thumbnail. And remember, the best way for you to actually determine what type of thumbnail you should be creating is by typing in the title or typing in the topic and seeing what the other thumbnails look like and make sure yours is better. Ideally, you're gonna wanna be invoking curiosity or showing something that gets to the point of the title or what they could expect to come later and makes them need to click on that video. Because if somebody doesn't need to click on your video, they're probably gonna click on somebody else's. From here, you wanna click on visibility and you wanna schedule the video for some date far in the future. Don't make it today, don't make it tomorrow because it could potentially mess up one of the later parts that we're gonna add in this video. And also, you wanna make sure that you do not put it as unlisted or put it as private. I know a lot of small accounts have been doing that and it could 
could potentially be decreasing the reach that you're getting because those two are really only used if you want to share a video with somebody and never want to set the video public or if you want to run the video as an ad and you don't want it to actually show on your YouTube channel or you want to put it on a course or something along the lines of that. So please, don't use those features as a placeholder. So now what you need to do is head over to your desktop or your laptop because there's a ton of other changes you need to make to this piece of content. But first, I need to make sure that you actually have a good title for your short. This is a stage where a lot of people mess up. If you're just choosing a random title or you're not putting a lot of effort or thought into this, it could be destroying the amount of views that you get because it's the biggest signal to YouTube of who they should be pushing the content to. Now, what I strongly suggest you do is use a tool like vidIQ, and I want you to use it for two reasons. One, they give you daily ideas based on your channel, based off of the posts that have done well and your competitor's content or just the people on YouTube that are posting other content that's similar to yours. On top of that, you can use their tool to do keyword research. So you can search for something and actually determine the best keyword to put in your title that's going to maximize the amount of views that you're getting. And on top of that, if you click into it, you'll be able to see all the trending videos and this will show you the scripts that are working, the formats that are working, the titles that are working, and so much more that's going to make you a way better YouTuber. If you don't already have vidIQ, I strongly suggest you go to the pinned comment below and sign up today. It's just $1 for 30 days. And to be quite frank, it's going to be the best $1 that you've ever spent because it's going to make you a way better YouTube creator and they will literally create your titles, tags, and descriptions for you. Okay. So now that we got the phone part out of the way and you're using vidIQ now to come up with the best titles, tags, and descriptions, we need to actually add that into your content. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna add your title. I know, a lot of people out there are saying use titles that are less than 55 characters long. Yes, that's great for entertainment stuff, but for education stuff, it might not be the best. In fact, the majority of videos that have gone viral on my channel actually have titles that are a lot longer than 55 characters. So don't hold yourself to that, but just know 55 characters might be the only thing that shows up. And from there, I need you to write a description. The description should ideally be two to three sentences long. It should have the keywords that you have in your title, and it should basically just be a description of the video. Please make sure if you're going to use hashtags, you put them in a title and you do not put them in the description. I'm gonna share with you later the best hashtags to use for your specific niche, but first, I need to make sure that you're choosing the right tags. Now, when it comes to tags, your tags should look like this. Essentially, all you're gonna do with tags is you want different phrases that are relevant to the video and you wanna fill up 450 to 475 of the 500 characters. I see a lot of people go all the way to 500. I see a lot of people stay below 50. Neither of those things are gonna help you and you need to make sure that you're choosing the right title, choosing the right description, choosing the right tags, but we can't stop there because YouTube just released a new feature that you need to be adding to your shorts and it's gonna skyrocket the amount of money that you make on YouTube, the time it takes you to get monetized, and ultimately how many views you end up getting. Now that next feature that you need to make sure that you're adding is a related video. YouTube just came out with this. If you don't know, YouTube got rid of links on shorts. They did this to combat spam and to combat fraud. But now what you can do is add a related video. And you could do this for three different things. One, you could change all your related videos to your latest long form piece of content to drive more people there so you make more money and get monetized quicker. The second thing you could do is set up a sales page or a sales video that's going to be unlisted and then drive everybody to that. Or third, you could drive people to your other shorts. In fact, the more views that you get per viewer on YouTube, the higher the odds that they're going to continue to push out your content. We can't stop there because there's one other thing you need to make sure that you do. Now that your video is done, it's completely uploaded, you've done everything right. You put the titles, the tags, the description, the related video. Now what you need to do is publish your video or schedule it for a future date. And from there, you need to go to the video, you need to leave a pinned comment that's going to be getting people to subscribe or getting people to watch more of your content because if you're not doing that, you're missing out on views. In addition to that, if you're not choosing the right hashtags in your content, it could actually be the thing that's killing your views. So check out this video right here where I tell you exactly what hashtags you need to use for your specific niche and how many hashtags you should be doing.